trekking in Croatia is different than by me at home because by us the, uh, the North Sea is really grey or brown and here the water is so clear. The colour of the water is quite interesting because actually there is no colour because it's so clear. It looks really dark but once you put your paddle in you just realise it's, it's just like it feels like glass. Yep. Well this is my first year kayaking trip and it's really cool. I like it, it's fun. The thing I enjoy most about sea kayaking is that you can just keep a tempo of paddling for an hour or two hours. So sea kayaking is a lot of fun because you can just keep plodding away in the middle of the ocean and eventually you see your horizon line getting closer and closer and closer until you get to a camp spot that looks like this. really cool thing of our trip, or the trip we've chosen, is that we start in Ozoa, on the north uh, of, of Loshin, and we're going all around on the west side, and now we're paddling back up on the, on the east side, and that just makes logistics really easy, because we don't have to change the car or anything. Your first day sea kayaking. Awesome. I'm pretty tired now. It's quite a long day. We kayaked quite a long way. Actually, more than we saw, right? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. we've now done nearly half the distance of the total trip today. So we've got now more time to go to some of the really cool towns tomorrow um, and explore a little bit more. We were super busy, like coming around the corner of the island. Most of the distance today was we had we got the wind from behind. Yeah, so lucky, lucky us. Nice weather. Perfect. I got nothing more to say. No. <laughs> So this is our breakfast for tomorrow. Um, we're really digging into the breakfast for tomorrow this afternoon, but that's okay. <laughs> Are you nervous for the big crossing? Uh, not too nervous. We've kind of looked at the weather now and we think there's going to be a breeze coming. <laughs> we know there's going to be a breeze coming 
pushing us back out the wrong way. It was harder than uh, I thought it would be. Like in the beginning, the sea looked more like a lake, like flat and easy. And then we started crossing and the current was pretty strong and the wind. I've done like crossings on sailboats and on motorboats, but it's the first time that I've done that on a kayak and it's, it's quite different, but it's fun. You feel more connected to the water. I think it took us about an hour, like one and a half hour. So I think we did pretty well. The whole trip itself is good. Uh, there are no certain highlights, I would say. Making dinner together, staying at nice places, seeing the sunset. Like being on the water, away from the car, away from civilization. I really like it. I think I will do it again.